today is uh, Ram Nomi. It's uh, Ram Nomi today. Naomi and Punar Vasu Nakshatra came together. It's a, a special day. Usually that uh, Titi and uh, Nakshatra doesn't come together. Today is a special day. Naomi and uh, Punar Vasu Nakshatra came together. Rama, Rama is and was and will be seventh incarnation of the Lord. It's the seventh incarnation. It's born on the seventh star. It's the seventh star. starts with uh, Ashwini, Bharani, Kritika, Rohini, Mrigashira, Ardra, Punarvasu. Punarvasu is the seventh star. He was born on the Naomi. It's on a Chaitra Masa. Chaitra, Chaitra is the first lunar calendar year in Indian calendar, according to that one. First lunar calendar month is the Chaitra Masa. He's born on the first fortnight, four, fortnight of the Chaitra Masa. It's uh, on the it's a uh, Rama Nomi and the ninth day is after uh, f new moon. It's the ninth day he was born. And uh, for the uh, divine incarnations, they say for if you are talking about certain person, we will say that he was there or she was there between this uh, this time and this time. Whereas the divine incarnation, they appear and they exist all the time. That form is always there. Still, that form is visible to the seekers that uh, for the jnanis, they in their vision, they appear in those forms. And uh, Ramayan, Ramayan, that original Ramayan is uh, composed by Hayagriva. It was su supposed to, it, it tells, it has uh, original Ramayana, thousand million shlokas are there. Thousand million couplets. And uh, over the time that every period that uh, one saint comes and composes Ramayana. Valmiki, Valmiki composed Ramayana. It has 24,000 shlokas. 24,000 shlokas in Valmiki Ramayana. And 24,000, it is also called as Gayatri Ramayana. Gayatri Mantra has uh, 24 uh, alphabets that Tat Savitar Vareniyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhiyo Yona Prachodayat. It has 24 letters and uh, Valmiki Ramayana also has 24,000 shlokas. And it says that each word of uh, Gayatri Mantra is further expounded into, it's uh, each word expounded into 1000 shlokas in Valmiki. For example, it's a Gayatri Mantra starts with Tat, Ta. First word is Ta. And Valmiki Ramayana starts with Tapasvi, Tapa. Ta, it also starts with Ta. For thousand shlokas, it goes like that. And after thousand, second word of Gayatri is again Ta, Tat. Again, after that, again starts with Ta for Valmiki Ramayana. It goes for another thousand <coughs> shlokas. Valmiki Ramayana is also called as uh, Gayatri Ramayan. Gayatri Ramayan in Valmiki, Valmiki when he composed, uh, it's, a, it's a Valmiki Ramayan in that it, it ha, he composed with in seven sections. Rama was the seventh incarnation, so he decided to break that one into seven segments. Seven khandas are there. And all the khandas, all the chapters are beautiful for Valmiki, but particularly he called one chapter most beautiful. He called that chapter as Sundarakanda. Sundarakanda, Sundarakanda means most beautiful out of all. It was one chapter was most beautiful for him because of Hanuman. Of all the chapters are beautiful. This chapter is most beautiful because of Hanuman. Hanuman is an it's a embodiment of the divine qualities, the qualities required by the students that uh, of the higher knowledge, the what are the qualities should be there, he had in perfection. That uh, all the it's, uh, qualities, whatever we are covering now, that uh, 26 qualities, so far we covered 20 qualities, the qualities required by our seekers of the higher knowledge, it's all the qualities are in perfection. It is there in Hanuman. That's why he called that one as uh, most beautiful chapter, Sundar Khan. And, uh, Rama, Rama's uh, main in that character, he 
came down to kill the demons mainly for uh, ravan and kumbhakaran in uh, ramayana it says ravana had uh, 10 faces and uh, he destroyed that one ravan had only 10 faces they say that uh, we people we have innumerable faces that he had only 10 we don't know what face we put in today i put i picture myself something appear something today and uh, tomorrow i will appear differently that they say unmasking ourselves and uh, find, finding out your own original nature is the purpose of sadhana for doing that one we need to develop ourselves uplift ourselves and seek see somebody as a role model that uh, valmiki raman says use hanuman as a role model that's a, because it is a sundara kanda it's a most beautiful form and most beautiful chapter learn from the going through the scriptures that is the beauty of going through the chapters there is a one role model will be there how he lived and uh, in the difficult situation how he behaved and how he behaved with the teacher how he behaved with the parents how he behaved with the children how he behaved with the friends how he behaved with the enemies it's all illustrated it's a benchmark for us to uplift ourselves and uh, we covered the uh, 20 shlok uh, qualities we'll cover another uh, six qualities today we'll chant uh, those uh, three shlokas shri bhagavan vacha shri bhagavan vacha abhayam sattva samshuddhi abhayam sattva samshuddhi jnana yoga vyavasthiti jnana yoga vyavasthiti dhanam damascha yajnascha dhanam damascha Swadhyaya tapa arjavam Ahimsa satya makroda Tyaga shanti apaishunam Daya bhuteshu alo luptvam Mardavam hira chapalam Tejakshama driti shaucha Adrohona Atimanita Bhavanti Sampadam Devi Abhijatasya Bharata Those who have interest in these qualities, those who want to uplift themselves and they are born with these qualities, traces of these qualities and the divine people, they are born with these qualities. Bharata, Bharata means, Bha means knowledge, Ratha, one who enjoys in the knowledge, one who enjoys in the light of knowledge. It is called as Bharata, one who is uh, born, enjoy these qualities, enjoy the qualities of the knowledge, who enjoys the knowledge and when he enjoys the light of knowledge, they are born with these qualities. And the Teja, first quality, the 21st quality is a Teja. Teja means uh, it's a very dynamic person that uh, there is no that when our uh, good things are there, takes an initiative, do, does it, it's uh, without being asked that uh, always willing to do some good work. There is no holding back. Why I should do that? Uh, it's a, it's a cold day or a hot day, I want to relax. It's a late night movie or party. It's a, when it comes to serving, doing the good job, this is always dynamic, always energetic. It's a Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita in the 17th chapter, it says, Sattvic qualities and Thamasic qualities. Sattvic quality people, whatever it has to be done tomorrow, they will do it today. So, tamasic people, whatever it has to be done today, they will postpone it to tomorrow. That uh, it says that uh, many people, we say that now we are too busy to do anything for others. Let my children grow up, let me retire, then I will think of doing. That they keep postponing. That is not a quality of Teja. Teja means it's an opportunity is there, do it. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. That the situation might change. We may not get that opportunity to do again. When the opportunity is there, do it now. That energy is there, ability is there, do it. That, that is called as Teja. The Teja, Kshama. Kshama means uh, they forgive. That even if uh, somebody 
does wrong to others that uh, they forgive that one they don't carry the grudge that um, they know it's a uh, the supreme lord is uh, all compassionate compassionate person personified when he is compassionate personified i also need to acquire those qualities they don't carry any grudge against others that uh, they forgive that one in uh, rama rama in that uh, in the uh, yuddha kanda he says even uh, ravana ke- comes to him and apologizes he will forgive him that uh, even he had no enmity even after ravana was killed vibhishana said he won't perform the final rites for his elder brother ravana said uh, it was his obligation to perform the final rites that uh, there is no enmity enmity was there because of some issues but that uh, he should not carry that forward if he is not willing to do he will get lakshmana to do, do, do the final rites for ravana that he pushed vibhishana to forgive his father as his elder brother and do the antya samskara that uh, kshama that uh, he insisted uh, is rama rama was a incarnation is a kshama murti tej kshama dhriti dhriti means endurance whatever started doesn't give up easily whatever started i make sure that i finish that uh, hurdles will come people will criticize that uh, many ready people will ridicule you but still that if i am convinced that i am doing a good job i won't stop half way through i will make sure that i finish that one dhriti endurance is there teja kshama dhriti shaucha shaucha means uh, purity purity one is the physical purity and mental purity and people who are born of the with the divine knowledge divine quality people are the most purest one because they always think about the most purest that they always think about the lord he is the purer than the purest when they always think about think about the purer than the purest they also become pure that putatma paramatma cha putatma no impurity in him that when you think of the lord always pure pure that you also become pure that tej kshama adriti shaucha adroho adroho those who depend on you that they never backstab they they don't exploit their others confidence on you they won't take others confidence for granted or exploit that one for personal benefit that uh, whoever has kept faith in you they want you to do something they'll keep their is a faith they won't backstab you they won't exploit your weakness adroho na atimanita atimanita is a not too egoistic that whatever doing they are not egoistic they are not proud they are not boasting that i did that one they never say that i did that one that uh, they say that uh, whatever we do we are like an instrument that uh, in the operating theater if the operation is successful knife doesn't claim that because of the knife operation was successful that uh, it was in the good hands of the doctor so also if anything is successful whatever we do is uh, a success it is because we are in the good hands of the lord that we are just an instrument in his hands and they don't they want that uh, atimanita they are not egoistic too proud of their success that uh, they are humble and whatever success is there or failure they will uh, offer it to the lord these are the 26 qualities and people of these qualities are uh, they are co- called as divine qualities that uh, divine people of uh, seekers of higher knowledge are born with these qualities and they aspire to learn more about these ones by looking at the great qualities and uh, from the scriptures role models from the scriptures or uh, in our daily life in our daily life also there are some role models they try to learn from them and uplift themselves these are the 26 qualities we covered write down on your back <laughs>